Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. So, a year ago, I made a comparison video between these two lovebirds over here. We've got Jasp, and we've got Jamovi. Uh, Jasp on the left, Jamovi on the right, and I thought I'd do a quick analysis uh, of my in-depth comparison last year, and see where we're at a year later. And give or take a year here, I am not entirely sure what the dates of each are, that video got um, shared quite a bit, and uh, I was very thankful for that because it was not something that I had seen very much on um, YouTube or within academic circles, and I wanted to um, sort of update my thoughts on the matter. So, full disclosure, I haven't been doing many statistics uh, over the past uh, year, uh, who, who has really with the uh, COVID pandemic, um, and so I haven't been really using either program uh, fully. Uh, the only thing that I've used them for is to make tutorial videos uh, that have appeared on my channel over the last year. Um, I get, perhaps that's could be considered using uh, the programs for statistics. Uh, I, I tend to think not because there's a, obviously an ulterior, ulterior goal associated with using one or the other programs. The one thing that I do like doing is before I uh, do record a video on uh, either of these uh, platforms uh, in either of these apps is to double check that I am using the most updated version of the of, of the programs. Uh, and so here before you, you see JASP um, 0.2. 14.1 that has been their stable uh, preview release uh, for a few months now for several months now I think uh, I've got several videos on my channel or on this thing and you can quickly check based on the uh, thumbnail so I mean if I went back and I looked it would be you know quite a bit so I'm using the most stable uh, the, the most current build and I'm sure they're continually developing and I'm, I'm excited for new features since it has been a while since the next release Jamovi on the other hand has um, up, been updating regularly. Uh, 1.8 came out just a few months ago, and now version 2.0 came out the day before I've recorded this. And I, I was planning on doing a new comparison before they released it, but it was very helpful that they released it uh, for me, <laughs> for me to do this comparison video. So one of the major uh, things that I wanted to get out of doing a comparison video with these two programs is how useful they are for teaching. Not just for doing your own stats and doing your own analyses, like that's fine, but and really, uh, really good when you compare these two programs because, you know, your alternative is R, which is programming on the very free, very open source, continually developed end, um, or SPSS or Stata, which are proprietary programs that you have to pay for, you know, even things like MATLAB or, or, or things like that, you, you have to pay for those things. And so if you're using these two programs, one of these two programs or both, depending on what kind of analysis you want to do, um, you, you, you end up with a situation where uh, you have a choice to make and which is better. But both of these are free. Both of these are open source. And both of these are um, really good alternatives for either R or SPSS, just um, looking at two sides of the spectrum. So what's the update then for doing this comparison? What's the update? Why am I doing the update? Well, like I said, for teaching purposes, I think there is a clear winner here. And I don't want I don't mean to say that like one trounces the other and you shouldn't use the loser, quote unquote, in this case. There is a clear winner, though, in as far as teaching uh, and having everything laid out and, um, you know, making sure that your students in the undergraduate sense, unless you are a Bayesian statistician and you are teaching Bayesian statistics, I think Jamovi now with version 2.0. And their um, creation, oh, sorry, uh, oops, I keep doing that, with their creation of this variable tab that, that just lays out a la SPSS in row and vertical fashion all of the variables, I think that is significantly uh, uh, better than um, the spreadsheet function in JASP. Now, what would make JASP a contender here in the education sphere? I think adding native spreadsheet editing would make it a contender here because not only do you would you have the inbuilt spreadsheet editor which you don't have normally so let me open up a, a piece of um data library data so let's just open up you know this the sleep here right if we if we open up so that's sleep and we've got this i can't make changes to this right because i'd have to find the data file or i'd have to generate the data file so i mean either option is fine if you've got excel um or some other program that can operate csvs because that's what it will generate so if, if you don't have the csv it will generate a csv file and you can open those in excel most definitely you can open up in them in any text editor they'll just be lots of numbers with commas at the end of them uh, or in between them because that's what a csv is comma separated values so or, or I'm, I'm assuming that and i honestly haven't tested this but the iwork uh 
Sheets probably opens up a CSV file. And then, of course, Google Sheets opens up, or I guess it's called Numbers in iWork, uh, the Mac uh, Mac OS uh, inbuilt productivity suite. It's called iWork, and I think I guess it's called Numbers. But Sheets, Google Sheets can open up CSV. So you can generate the data file and then modify it and then reopen it in JASP, and that's fine. You can also find the data file, but I'd have to look through my folders to find that data file. And of course, I could find this data file that exists on my computer. But that's the strongest limitation to teaching because it's not built in the same way that um, Jamovi has it, right? Because I can add rows, I can add and delete columns, I can enter in numbers here. You know, I, it's, it's it's wonderful. Like, I don't need the additional program. And if you're asking students to, one, go find uh, this program, and then two, learn and download it on your computer, and then two, learn how to use it, I think it bodes better for cognitive load as a cognitive scientist. It bodes better that you don't have multiple programs. And this is why I'm stating here in this video that I think as far as the teaching is concerned, Jamovi a year later is probably best for those who want a self-contained system. And I think I made a similar argument last year, a self-contained system for data analysis, for inputting data, modifying that data, and then analyzing that data, self-contained system, you get the reports, then you can export those reports to PDF, to Word, uh, you know, to a Word document, what, whatever. I think Jamovi is that self-contained. And then the additional piece that you get with it is all of the uh, modules that you can then add. I clicked on it, thank you, that you can add up here, right? I click on modules and I can, you know, see which ones that I have and, and um, add more as they get developed for Jamovi, right? Because they they need the R package plus the wrappers on top of it to make it, you know, a part of Jamovi and, you know, click and point and click kind of menu um, GUI, right? So you can do all of this. You can also get the R syntax by doing the base R module uh, here. You know, it's just a, it, so if you want to expand from, if you teach uh, statistics using Jamovi, if we're like freshman, sophomore, and then you, you know, expand to R beyond that in like uh, junior and senior years, you know, you can use Jam Jamovi as the stepping stone. I still stand by my original um, critique of Jasp here. Uh, you know, the major, sh the, the major uh, wish uh, for next future releases is an inbuilt uh, data editor, right? Uh, the R integration is a little less than Jamovi, and that's fine. You know, it was it was made to mimic. SPSS and, and, and pull people away from having to pay IBM for the a statistics program that, you know, can already kind of exists. Let's just put a wrapper on top of it. And that's kind of what I see with Jasp. Um, and, and that's great. It's it's a it's a low memory. It's a low uh, storage, low processing, um, small package. It's, it's not bad. Um, and if you are a Bayesian statistician, there is a lot to love that you don't get in Jamovi. Now, in Jamovi, you have to install the Bayesian module to add Bayesian functionality to it. That comes pre-built in Jamovi. So if I if I vacillate back and forth here and I and I think to myself, OK, what am I going to use in my teaching? Uh, of, of undergraduate statistics, I think it's going to be Jamovi. Now, I have been using JASP over the last several years, but because the pandemic sort of switched everything to, we don't need to buy software for a group of computers that are not are going to sit unused. Like, why are we maintaining this group of computers in a lab that is not going to get touched because everyone's thinking about buying or having their own or even getting a loaner or, or a free computer? Uh, Jamovi wins hands down on that because of, of, of everything that is involved in the suite. And it's, you know, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bloatier of a program. And when you add modules, then it gets a little bit bigger and takes a little bit more of your uh, of your computer's resources. But, you know, it's still smaller and it's still less clunky uh, than SPSS or Stata or anything like that. So if I were to, again, make a choice, it would be Jamovi in my teaching. So I think here Jamovi takes the day. Now, maybe I'll look a year later. We'll say what is mid 2022 suggest? Uh, Dr. Swan, what is, what, what is the state of the what is the state of the comparison a year from now? Hey, it might change. Jasp, the, the Jasp developers might go, hey, you know what? Let's put in that editor. And when they do that, when they put that editor in, things are going to change for sure. Things are going to change. And, and that's my updated uh, that's my updated uh, comparison between the two. Sorry, there was no face cam here. I um, I was thinking about it and then I was like, mm, no, there's not a lot moving on the screen at the moment. So um, thanks for sticking around and listening to me. You can just make this a, a podcast view, I guess. Uh, if you like this content, consider leaving uh, consider subscribing. Excuse me. If you like this video, consider leaving a like and um, stay tuned for more uh, Jasp and Jamovi videos coming on the channel in the near future. Thanks for watching.